Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. And today I just wanted to show you what I was going to do with some of the items that I got from BB Craft. I'm going to use a piece of their faux leather today. This is a really pretty um, pink color, as you can see. And I'm going to use these corner book corners here to make the corners of my book look really cute. So this is my mini glue book that I made yesterday. Um, I finished the rest off camera, so let's do a quick little flip through. All these are our background images that I got out of magazines. I keep a little basket full of all my little scraps, and I just put all these down as background images. And then I will come back through and add quotes and maybe focal images and that sort of thing. I could just leave it as is if I wanted to, um, but I think I wanna put like one big thing on each page. So these are four pieces of computer paper that I covered in magazine. They're now really thick, as you can hear. That's why I started with um, printer paper and not cardstock. The outside is, however, cardstock. So first things first, let's glue this on. I'm going to be using some art glitter glue. And what I'm going to do is add this to, um, hello, come out, come out wherever you are. Well, that seemed inappropriate. Okay, here we go. I'm going to add some glue to my cover. Lay this down. I'm going to give myself a little bit of extra room. Oops. Uh, there we go. Just so I can cut it off and make it nice and flush. Does that make sense? Like I don't wanna pre-cut it and then have it end up being like not enough or whatnot. So I'm just gonna do it this way. There we go. Yeah, that's nice and flush there, so that's good. Okay, let's just check. I'm gonna just kind of stick the nozzle of my glue in the corners here, really want to get those corners down in the edge here. So I'll just go back through with a little bit of glue there, smooth that out. Literally don't think any glue came out when I did that. <laughs> Let's see, oh, I see it now, okay. It's coming out now. There we go, okay. Smooth that down, oops. Nice and firm. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip this over. I am gonna add some glue right down this spine area. And let's add some more glue. I secured this by just doing a really quick three hole pamphlet stitch after I was done After I was done um, gluing all the pages, I just put them inside one another and then did a three hole pamphlet stitch. Easy peasy. I'm gonna use my bone folder to just smooth this, oh, smooth this bad boy out. Okay. Got a little excess glue and that's fine. Okay, I just wanna go in here on the corners, really make sure I get those down and the edges. Oop. It's the best part about this fine tip is you can just stick it right under the paper. Okay. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. Now let's see what happens when we close it. Okay. Really want to make sure this gets all in there. Oops, sorry. I'm like all over the place. <laughs> sorry. And we will slice off the excess. Look how easy this stuff cuts. It's like butter. Okay. I'm just gonna do one side at a time. I think that might just be easier for me. There we go. Down like that. Turn it around. Let's take these papers and move the papers that way. And oh, I'm over here now. Durr. Maybe right up against there. Okay, so this should come out now. And with this leftover, I can make all kinds of other things. And I probably will. Wow, it is so satisfying cutting this stuff. <laughs> it's like so smooth to cut it. I'm so glad it's easy to cut. I love this faux leather because it comes in so many different colors. I chose pink because I like pink, but I just thought it would look cute with this collage book. Okay, I want to tidy up ah, this little part right here. There we go. I will put a link in the description box um, where you can get some of this faux leather as well. It's really, really fun to work with. Okay. Look how cute my glue book is. Oh my gosh, I love this. This looks so good. Ooh, it feels so nice. This side, I wanna cut off a little of the excess that I have here. I know you guys, I'm anal, I get it. <laughs> I just, I can't help it. This little smidge is bothering me. That's right, just that little smidge. There we go. Definitely very easy to cut through. Oh man, that was satisfying. I cannot wait. I will definitely use this to make more covers for sure. Okay, so here's my glue book now. So I still have the black cardstock on the inside. I think this is how I actually wanted it. Oh, I see a little boop. There we go. So there's the journal and then you open it up or glue book. I'm sorry, I keep saying journal. Okay, so let's set that. Well, I'll just use this. Okay, so now let's take out our corner pieces. So I'm gonna take out four. So I'm gonna do the front and the back. And I got these from BB Craft as well. And it came in this little container. Love that. So all you need to do is put this in here and then pinch it down. But I like to add a little glue for extra security. So let's add a little glue in here. And you just wanna push it right up against 
the edge there. And I'm just using my bone folder to push these corner units down and it'll pinch right into the paper. Oh, these are nice. These, these pinch very easily, easily with just my bone folder. I actually have out my pliers just in case, cause you can also like pinch them down with these, but wow, these pinched really easy. And then look how pretty that looks. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, let's do the other four corners. So we'll take the corner, add a little bit of glue in here. Take it upside down because we want the pretty side on the outside, not on the inside. Just push it right up there nice and flush. And then take something like a, if you don't have a bone folder, you can also use something like a butter knife or a ruler, just anything you can just kind of push down a little bit. You don't, you don't need a ton of force. Oh man, that looks so pretty. Oh, thank you, BB Craft. These are awesome. Honestly, I have another brand of these that I'm not gonna name names. Um, and they are way harder to push down. And these were very easy. 100% prefer these. I'm so glad that I got so many of these. Okay, there we go. And we have one more. Ah, I almost dropped it. Okay, let's put this one in. I probably don't even need something like a bone folder, but to push these down, but it does help really get them nice and secure. Okay, someone went a little crazy with the glue. I don't know who that is, but yikes. Okay, let's clean off my little nozzle. Okay. And off my bone folder. Okay. All right, so here is my new glue book. Get these out of the way. So you can see, see the corners on here? Look how pretty that looks. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. Okay, so you open it up. Oh, look, you can hear it, watch. Oops. <laughs> That's so cute. And then here are my collages, which I already showed you, but we'll go through it one more time. And there we go. That's that. How cute is my mini glue book? All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video of me showing you how I attached this faux leather to my glue book to make a beautiful cover and these corner book corners. I think it makes it look really classy and pretty and I can add something on the cover of this or I can just leave it as is. Oh, it feels, you guys, it feels amazing. I'm gonna go make another one. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's a great day to have a great day, and I hope that yours is amazing. Until next time, guys. Bye.